Hey, what's going on? Jason right here. Welcome to the channel. As a business owner, I can't tell you how many times I've wanted more leads. If you have your own B2B business especially, I'm sure you are feeling that or have felt that as well. The frustrating thing, thing is relying on you know paid ads or referral partners or repeat business. Uh, sometimes those things let you down. It can be exhausting, right? So what I'm going to document in this video is something new that we're doing and it's around cold email outreach. Uh, there's amazing technology that you can use to uh, you know, get the attention of your ideal audience, right? And more booked calls equals more business for us, uh, probably for you as well. So um, I tried this in January of this year of 2024. It didn't work and I made some mistakes that I didn't realize were mistakes till now. I was getting advice from a, another mentor in this regard and they just flat out didn't tell me some fundamental stuff that matters a whole bunch. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what I've done so far, and this will be a multi-part video, but if you're looking to get more leads for your business, especially if it's B2B, you don't wanna rely on paid ads or referrals or um, cold calls, you're gonna to wanna to check this out. So again, it's focused on cold email, um, it's exciting. I've actually met somebody who's absolutely killing it in this space. Uh, this person is um, in the real estate investing space. They're actually getting calls booked for passive investors to buy apartment, apartment complexes and things like that. So it'll certainly work for any business. Um, I've got to take control of my leads. So if you're feeling like you're in the same place, uh, we're gonna go into the office now and I'm gonna screen share with you the rest of the video, show you what I've done for my business at this point and uh, I'll show you why it takes a couple of weeks to get this going the right way. See you soon. All right, we are in the office now, so I'm gonna screen share and show you uh, what we're doing so far. This video is uh, designed to be very um, actionable for you, right? Cold email to set it up right is gonna require some effort from you. Otherwise, it's not even worth attempting. So let me kind of show you a high level here what we're, we're trying to accomplish. So. Real quick, here's our business, right? We do email marketing, sales funnels, not only the, the architecture and the setup, but um, the training, the support, all that stuff for pretty much anybody that needs leads nurtured, right? So for us, what we're trying to do is get in front of more businesses. Uh, we're looking ideal. And I'm telling you all this as part of the point of this video here. Um, we're trying to get in front of more online coaches, high ticket service providers, even other agencies like us, uh, et cetera. Okay. Um, so we need to talk to people that have businesses. Um, and it's basically like this. Our, mo our model that works extremely well starts with a booked call, right? People go to my Calendly right here. And this all, this all ties in. Stay with me. I promise you want to. Right? They'll tell me what we want to talk about, where they heard about me. And as soon as they submit, that part of our funnel, that part of our business works extremely well. They go into one of six or seven. It's one of like seven automations for nurture. But basically, uh, you know, once they get into our world, if they don't buy on our Zoom call, which most people don't, you know, there's a a progression through a pipeline and each each stage there is nurturing for the next act forward, the next the next logical step in the, the sales process, right? That works extremely, extremely well. So really what I need, me personally, and you may be in the exact same boat, what I need is more more calls booked. That's it. I know how to sell what we do really well. I know how to create value. I know how to train clients, support clients. I need more booked calls. So how can we get more people on our calendar? These are the options that I'm sure you're doing and thinking about as well. Organic posting on social media. For me, organic posting, it's a pretty small, it's a pretty small reward for the time. Um, it, it goes in waves. Um, any kind of referral network that makes sense for your business is worth being a part of. You know, maybe local BNI groups do, depends what you're doing. For me, that stuff's not really you know, my audience is more all of the U.S. It's not locally where I live or where I'm at. So you've got paid ads. Um, they can be very expensive. You know, it can be very, very expensive uh, getting the, the meta pixel trained and all that kind of stuff. 
and you've got outreach, right? Uh, back to when I worked in sales in corporate America, outreach is what I did in these jobs. And we used phone and email and text, these different things. It's not really fun. Um, you have to have pretty thick skin and it just gets old, but it does work. It does work. So the beauty is there's technology out there now where you use cold email to fire off messages. And the first message is not going to be aggressive and it's not going to be pitchy. Uh, if it's pitchy, it's not going to work well for you. You're trying to get the attention of your ideal client. Okay. And I'm going to show you some tools that I'm using and why, and it's going to be very helpful, but really um, technology with AI and automation helps you to do this at scale. And there's costs involved, but you can start, I mean, what would your business look like if you could send out, you know, 25 cold emails a day, you know, on autopilot or what about 2,500 a day? You start thinking about that. I don't think there's a person watching this that's going to go, nah, that wouldn't get me any more booked calls. Right. The question is, yeah, but how? So essentially what you do, and one of the big mistakes I made last time is you want to use custom domains set up that are not your main domain for your email. OK, and this is one of the mistakes. I hired a mentor at the beginning of the year. This person didn't tell me this. I asked about it. He said, ah, it doesn't matter. OK, so I was using. So my main my main domain, believe it or not, is uh, at gray, G-R-U-I, foxbusiness.com. My uh, company is Gray Fox Business Ventures. The brand under that, everybody knows me with, is intentionally inspirational. So you use a custom domain that kind of makes sense for your business, but is not your main domain for email. And the reason why, if you get flagged for spam, spam or blacklisted, you don't want to take down your whole company. Okay. So ironically... Um, I have this domain, Intentionally Inspirational, which I've only ever used for my website. That is my brand. It's trademarked, all that good stuff. But I've never used it for email. So this is now one of my cold emails, jason at intentionallyinspirational.com. And guess what? If people book a call with me, it's going to make sense because they're going to see that brand, right? So you want to use custom domains for email. Um, and you, they say you want to use two or three different emails per domain. So in that example, I could have hello at Intentionally Inspirational. I could have Jason. I could have hi, right? Stuff like that, okay? Um, and you're going to want to have more than one even to start off. So I have three right now. I've got Simple Lead Nurture. I've got Intentionally Inspirational. And I have another one in um, a different program, Warming Up. And it is called, and I'll talk about Warming Up in a minute, it is called uh, trygrayfoxbusiness.com, okay? So custom domains. Um, with these custom domains, they've got to be hooked up to email. So what I do is I go to GoDaddy and I buy my domains. Um, and then I use Google Workspace. I think it's $7.20 a month is today's price for a domain. And I have like 18 email addresses through Google Workspace. All right, so you have a cost for the domain. Let's call it 24 bucks a year with protection. Um, you've got $7.20 through Google Workspace. You hook them up together. So you have a functional email that you can log into. Okay. Once you make that connection between GoDaddy and Google Workspace, it is going to add most of the records you need to ensure good deliverability. First thing it's going to add is these MX records. MX records at your domain level have to do with email. So don't mess with those. And there's a copy like five records for Google Workspace are always the same. It is going to add a SPF record automatically for you. And the one thing it's not going to add, it's not going to add a DMARC record, but you need to add literally this DMARC record to your custom domains to ensure maximum deliverability with your cold email outreach. You see all the fundamental stuff we're doing before we even, st even start worrying about the tools. So adding this DMARC record, here's another thing. My old mentor who failed me never told me, right? Even this year, like earlier this year, Google and these companies made some changes to make email deliverability even more important. So you need to add this, okay? So you need to do all that before you even think about anything else. And I've done that. I've got three custom domains, two emails a piece. So I got six, six new emails I'm warming up right now just for the purpose of cold outreach. So if something happens, God forbid, to one of those emails, it doesn't affect my main business email in any way. Is that making sense? Okay. The next thing you need to do is warm them up. Warm up inbox is an option. 
of a service that you can use. I'll link that down in the description of the video. You can see I use it myself. And what I've done is I've added in four of the six new uh, email addresses. So these are in Google Workspace, told you all that. I've got two more in a different program warming up. And what it's gonna do, it is gonna send and receive emails from that email address automatically. And you're getting legit opens and getting legit responses, but it's all automated. So what it's doing is it's building your sending reputation Right. What's funny, this one here is doing much better than my main email, but this thing's nine years old. So it's just a seven day snapshot, but it's building your sending reputation um, to get more of your emails into inboxes and not in spam. OK, so these down here have got more, but they, they usually they say you need to warm them up minimum of 14 days before you start using those email addresses to send cold emails. OK, minimum. 14 days. You don't want to rush this warm up for 14 plus days. Okay. So I'm in this process right now. Um, like I said, I've met people begin the video and mention this. I've met people who were using cold email uh, and doing very well with it. Uh, I'm really blown away how, how well they're doing. Uh, and here's what you got to think about if Facebook changes their algorithms again, or your referral partners, you know, change things up on you. It doesn't affect this. This is, you got to worry more about email deliverability rules and things like that, but this is completely separate, which is actually a sigh of relief. Is it not? Um, okay. The third thing, and I'm evaluating this, oops, I'm evaluating this right now is you're going to want to find a, a tool. Uh, to send the cold emails with and from. Now, I know Go High Level says you can use their product for it. Uh, Active Campaign and MailChimp and stuff like that, you do not want to use for cold email. Bad idea. So the third thing is, is choosing a cold email tool. And I'm looking at two, and I'll share those with you here. In my next video, I'll show you what I've went with, and I'll, I'll show you how things are going. And you have to understand, like anything else, there's split testing. There's there's a process involved. So you can't expect overnight success uh, with cold email. But if you do it and you pay attention to the data and you make adjustments, I'm confident you'll find something that gets people talking to you. So what I'm looking at currently is Growbots. And I actually booked a demo call with them. And I, I think they're I think they're pretty solid. Uh, they seem like they know what they're doing. Um, this company's out of Poland and I actually looked at their reviews here versus the next one. I'll show you um, pretty good stuff. And the other one I'm looking at is called instantly dot AI. And I'm actually warming up two emails here. Their ratings are even higher. And I, I compared them, did a little Google search, see what people think. But really, 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 really cool stuff here, guys. I mean, we're talking really cool. Now, this is not meant to be a replacement for your active campaign or your HubSpot um, or even your high level. It is a separate tool that keeps the uh, the different domains and stuff kind of separate from your company. But it's really neat because both of these tools have something called like a universal inbox. It'll take all of your email domains that you're using for cold email and put all responses in one place, which is great. And for me, my goal is to take these cold emails. It'll be a sequence, an automated sequence. And my goal out of these, whether I'm pitching digital marketing services or I'm pitching coaching for entrepreneurs, and I'll actually probably do both, two different campaigns. My goal, as you've probably guessed, let's get on a call and talk about it. All I need is more booked calls without relying on other people, paid ads, et cetera. And it, it's a game changer. OK, right now, I'll be honest with you, I am leaning heavily towards instantly. I think both look like I think they're both really solid looking tools. So I've got some time to figure out. I'm waiting about I'm going to wait about 20, 21 days, roughly or really the metrics that I'm looking for. 90 percent or better reputation, which these will be there in a few days. Uh, I just want to see. Uh, some of this go down and, and you know that 14 days probably probably a good threshold where that generally happens but you know if I'm 20 days out and some of this stuff looks the same I'll let that specific domain keep cooking because there's, there's no reason to rush it you don't want to end up on a blacklist but again 
if this gets on a blacklist, it'll affect both of these domains, but it won't affect these or affect your main business. Okay, so I hope that really, really makes sense. This is my uh, part one video for outbound marketing cold email prep. Because if you don't prepare for this properly, signing up for a service uh, and ignoring steps one and two here isn't going to do you a whole lot of good. Because guess what? Been there, done that, was pissed off at the results. Okay. If you have any questions at all, feel free to um, drop them in the comments below. Uh, if you've never been here before, we talk about business growth generally around marketing and mindset. Uh, we do review some cigars and talk about some uh, cool recreational stuff that I'm into as well. Okay, Like, subscribe, and share if you feel so inclined. And uh, be on the lookout for part two of this. It's probably going to come later this month once I've decided on a tool and started using it. Okay, See you in the next video.